everyone, it is Susie, and I hope everybody is doing well, and I hope that you're having a good day. Uh, I have made a, uh, a set of, I believe it's eight tags, two, four, six, eight, yeah, eight tags out of a masterboard collage. Um, I have a tutorial, and it's all I did was just want to put a little intro here and show you the tags. Um, I should have photoed the masterboard before I cut it up, but I didn't. So I kind of want to show you the tags that we made of it. I made the masterboard first with the collage, and then I came in, I cut the tags and decorated them. So um, here are the tags that I worked on. And I just used Tim Holtz, mostly Tim Holtz paper dolls and some wallpaper and just some odds and ends ephemera that I had. Uh, but anyway, and the back, uh, I also added some, um, just a little piece of washi, just to give it a little decorative. I just used two different washies on this. I kind of added this after, um, actually I got done with the video, so. But anyway, there are the tags. They are just as cute as they can be. Very quick to make if you do the master board first and then cut your tags. So, um, there you are, guys, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so let's create this master board. So, what I have done is I have just gathered some odds and ends that I have in a box of just scraps and, um, you know, various little pa pieces of paper and paper. So, I don't know what of that I'll use, but... Uh, I just grabbed it and have it ready. I am going to be using some of the Tim Holtz uh, wallpaper, possibly uh, Christmas wallpaper, and some of the Rebons from Tim Holtz here. And uh, Remnant Rubs is what this is called. And of course, some paper dolls. So now uh, I have not made a master board before so this is all new to me I'm a little slow on the draw here I know that a lot uh, you know a lot of you have uh, but I have not so it was actually the master board was one of the things that we were doing in our uh, Sophie's Notes uh, third quarter build a journal swap um, and I am gonna just try to make one and I'm gonna do mine in uh, Christmas uh, so, let's see, I'm looking for my ruler, there we go, okay, so of course I'm going to have a ruler and some glue, I'm not going to use a medium, I'm just going to use a glue, and I'm not going to worry so much about getting my edges straight, I will cut them, I'm going to cut these down for tags anyway as I go along, uh, I think I am going to start maybe with some Tim Holtz and since the edge is already straight I can uh, I can go ahead and get that on I don't have a glue stick a glue stick would probably be the the better choice here but all right so we're just gonna want to get a little closer here all right and I think I'm going to, oops, I think I'm going to put one in this corner as well. So, okay. All right, so I am going to grab a, a little, uh, wipe their wet wipe because I have a lot of glue on my hands for sure. All right, so I think I'm going to get some music sheet and I'm just going to be doing some tearing and that's, I'm not going to cut anything. It'll just be tearing it. Let's see, I might even want to go a little thinner. Alright. And hopefully I have enough scraps to, to make it here. So I think I will put a little here too as well. 
Let's see. I'll use that straight edge since it's already there. So I have to tell you a funny story. My grandson is pre-K this year because his birthday falls. He, he turns five at the end of August, but the cutoff is, you know, more towards, I can't remember exactly what the cutoff is, but it's before his birthday. It's sometime uh, like the first weekend in August or something like that first week. And uh, anyway, he, he doesn't make it uh, by the cutoff. So uh, I go with them to open house so he can meet his teacher and see his room and, and all that good stuff. And so uh, anyway, we're, uh, we're, uh, we've been there. We've, we've met, you know, his teacher. We saw his room. He's kind of, you know, checked it out a little bit and uh, visited with the teacher and, so, as we're leaving, he's got a really long hallway to go down to get to his room. And we were going out the front door. We'd walked that whole way, and we'd stopped and met the librarian and all that good stuff. And and so, we're going out the front door, and his mama says something to the effect of, um, Well, we're done for today. Now we'll be back on Monday. And he says, Nope. Been here once, don't need to come back. <laughs> so, anyway, I was a little worried that he wasn't going to uh, want to go come Monday. But he went and he loves it. He absolutely loves it. So, anyway, I was a little worried about him, but he, he did all right come Monday. But yeah, he'd been her once. He wasn't going back. No way. <laughs> you just never know what comes out of those little ones' mouths. They say the silliest things sometimes. But anyway, he loves it. And I'm glad. It's It'd be hard to have to struggle with your child to go to school. Now, his mama always loved going to school. She, she absolutely loved it. She... Uh, when she was even in uh, high school, she always did extra work, even. So, hopefully he'll be like his mother and and enjoy enjoy school. And even when she was little, she she thoroughly enjoyed it. So, let's see here. I think I'm going to add that whole piece there. This is just an old uh, prescription. I'll just set it right along the edge. And I'm just using those bits and pieces kind of all over here. This is a really brittle little uh, piece here. Okay, I'm just going to let it stick over a little on the top where I can cut it. I have watched several videos of master boards, um, and I have watched them for quite some time. I just never have have uh, done one. So I also have some of this uh, parchment paper I thought would be fun to use. Let's see, I have a couple of pieces of it. I don't know if I want it. Yeah, I don't think I'd want it so light. I'll peel off this little bit of edging that I got from the tear on the where we tore it off the uh, which I'm gonna call it the roll. Okay, I'm just gonna maybe I don't want such a big piece. Yeah, maybe I want to go that way. I think I will also do a little stitching, maybe, on this uh, master board as well. It's not very often I don't do stitching on, on my projects anymore. 
you have to have quite a few scraps um, to do this. Even a little eight and a half by eleven. I have some of these green stamps. I thought it would be fun to add maybe somewhere. I may put it up here where the straight is there. Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of that right down here as well. I've got a straight edge that I'm going to put right there. And as soon as I get my uh, board kind of filled in, my paper here, I'm going to then add the paper dolls once I get things kind of filtered in there. I think, I'm wondering if I don't want to, uh, that paper there is very, very fragile. It's 190 something. Let's see. I'm wondering if I don't want a piece of this in the middle somewhere. don't want the white showing so you have to turn it tear it a certain way if you don't want your your white showing yeah I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do something like that okay so let's see I also have a piece of I have a piece of envelope as well I wasn't sure if I wanted to it has the old letter in it um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to maybe use some of that old envelope. I can see where the stamp was. I don't especially want the, the handwriting on it. Not on this one. So let's see. Oh, and it's a December. I didn't even notice that. So that would be around Christmas time. So how about that? It's even got a Christmas time. Let's see. Well, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is hide some of that. Hmm. Whoops. see. Let's use that little part of the grungy envelope. That blue is kind of aged. So let's use part of that. Let's see. I think I want to cover up where they've scribbled that out. Okay. All right. So then... Let's use, oops, I see my, the S&H green stamps are coming off the old uh, thing it was placed on. Okay, well I want the date here somewhere, so let's, I want that December in there. So, I like that. Okay, so we're just going to add that right there. And I don't know if I'll use this this or not I might yeah I might right there I like where the where the stamp was it just kind of faded the envelope too bad it still didn't have the stamp on it that would have even been better but it doesn't so okay so we have all that old envelope we're going to use so I think I may want that old one. I think I'm going to tear off where it's kind of faded there. I don't think I want that. So, yeah, I'm going to... Okay. Okay. 
It's just like a big collage. Big, big collage here. All right, let's see what else I have here. I have some of this, let's see, old paper there. And I have some of this. I love the writing on this one here. So I think I'm gonna tear off. We might add that. I got a couple of places I wanna fill in. Let's just put that there. Okay. So, let's see. I've got this one right here that I need to fill in. Let's see, I'm trying to debate if I want to cover up that. Because I'd have to do this if I did. Yeah, I'm just going to cover it over. Okay. All right. So, a couple more places. Not sure what I'm going to fill it in with. Maybe music sheet. Or maybe ledger. we got some of this old ledger here. This has some really pretty writing on it. That was the main reason why I I purchased this one uh, was simply because of the writing. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go something like, and I have this little bit of here to fill in as well. So let me fill that in with something right there. No. Let's see. I have this little 1914 that I think I would like to. I want to get rid of the April. Let's put that kind of right there. like right here. All right, so that side is just pretty well, pretty well done there. And then I want to finish up right in here. And uh, I would love to use some more of this ledger over there. that off. Okay, so I think we're going to put that there and about one more piece and we can start adding the the paper dolls and the rub-ins. I'll probably have to, uh, uh, rub-ons. I'll probably have to let this dry just a little bit before I add the, the rub-ons. Okay, so I see a little spot right there I need to, to fill in. I even have some washi tape. Don't know if I'll use it or not, but I do have some that I can put on there if it, you know, needs that little extra something. Okay. So let's add... I want music sheet since I already have that. Let's see. Here's like a little number 25. Let's grab it. Let's grab that little 25 right there. That'll work for Christmas. OK. 
Okay. We will add that right there and we will be done with this part of it. All right. Oh, and I am going to add something right in there where that's not such a big... I am going to do that. I think it will probably be music sheet that I add there. Or I could add a piece of... Uh, just another piece of the... Trying to get rid of the white. And as I tear, you gotta go one way to to do that. So alright. Do I kind of just want to add that? Yeah, I think so. I think a little wallpaper tags would be fun too if you just made some tags out of the out of the wallpaper. That would be actually very quick and easy. You just cut your tags out and kind of put your paper dolls on there. This would be a quick and easy, easy little tag for Christmas. Okay, all right, so we're going to let this dry and then we're going to come in and, and add, I'll kind of clean up my mess here and we'll add some uh, paper dolls to that. Okay, so I think that my uh, paper is dry now. I've got to kind of, I went ahead and kind of cut down the overhang on the edges. Uh, if it was real slight, I didn't worry about it too much. It's, it's kind of hard to cut that down without actually cutting your other piece of paper. So, uh, but while I was waiting for this to dry, I had mentioned that the wallpaper, the Tim Holtz wallpaper would be really nice just to cut down and make tags out of. It would be super simple because you have all your background. So I made a couple while I, I had one sheet that was still a whole sheet. And so I made two tags out of it. Uh, very simple, not a whole lot on this tag. I just grabbed some vintage lace and made a little tie on it. But this one here, I just used some of the old um, film roll there. I have a piece of uh, vintage book page added one of the little sticky labels there, the Wishes, those are all Tim Holtz, and uh, the paper doll. And isn't it cute? And you can always write on the back, or you could even uh, take and cover this over with paper, you know, your uh, stained paper to write on. But I have this little We Are Memory Keepers, uh, I don't remember what this punch is exactly called, but it has the little uh, book ring uh, note ring or whatever they call that and I've just punched it out uh, out of the piece of the scrap there and put the white on the front and then I punched another one out and put the the little decorative si uh, decorative side on there so there's a tag and it was just just three little things well four uh, and that's it with your background page and then here I made a little tall one add a little piece of vintage lace there and we've got the longer paper doll. I've just cut off those sticker. Um, I'm not sure what these were called. Labels as well. Uh, but uh, you just peel off the back. So I run a, a roll of them up there. And uh, added the paper doll. And a little piece in the background of that ledger. And that's pretty much it. And these are super simple. They would be super simple to make. And super quick to make. So... Uh, anyway, I just thought I'd play around while while I was waiting for this to dry. So what I think I'm going to do, instead of putting my paper dolls and my rub-ons on, what I'm going to do, because I know I'm going to cut this for tags, so what I thought I would do is just go ahead and cut my collage down for my tags. So in order to get an even number of tags, and all the same size, to be able to utilize the whole sheet, if I did my math right, I should be able to cut them two and three quarters by four and a fourth. Four and a fourth being long, two and a three quarters being wide. So I'm gonna cut this down to four and a fourth. And like I said, that's just if I did my math right. Ooh, I hope that's right. Because it's eight and a half by 11. So four and a fourth and four and a fourth is eight and a half. So, okay, so I'm gonna cut that. And those two should be even, and they are. Okay, then I need to cut my tags 
two and three quarters across and I should be able to get an even an even number and I hope I hope I figured this right okay two and three quarters and two and three quarters oh and they're all the same size how about that okay that don't happen all the time all right so two and three quarters all right and we have our tags now all right so what i'm going to do is take this one let's see because i'm not going to decorate all these on camera um i'll take that one let's just grab a grab a few of these i'll decorate about four of them and then i'll save the other four for later so uh anyway here we go and I hope my paper dolls are not too big. I didn't have any of the really tiny ones in the Christmas. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to put her out there. Let's see, I want to cut, I think I want to cut my angles. Go ahead and get my angles cut. So I've got the We Are Camp Memory Keepers Angle Punch, uh, which I do like. I can say I, I really like using it because it just saves... A lot of time you can of course do it by saving the piece that you've cut off but but I like using the uh, uh, angle punch so I'm just gonna do these four okay all right so let's get our paper dolls here laid out I'm going to, I think I'm going to use her on here, and let's see, I think I'll use her here, and I got this little boy with the skates, and I think I'm going to put him on that one over there, and then I picked out these three, and I like the little girls with the, uh, the little girl here with the, the hand muffs, so, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and get these glued down, all right, and then we're going to take her, and this would be a great uh, mask making um, thing. I know Tina on Shabby Dabby Doo Dah does a lot of mask making. This would be a, a really quick mask making tags, just doing your your uh, master board collage first your, for your background and then cut them down and if you're going to add you know something like this just go ahead and cut them down and make your tags so it would not take too long to do that okay so I'm gonna keep these pretty simple not get them too overly decorated so I'm gonna be using the rub-ons let's get them pulled out Okay, so let's see, home for the holidays would be a good one, so I'm going to get my little scissors here, and let's get that kind of, I usually end up having these stuck to me, to my fingers, which I don't like. Okay, and I don't want the 25. I want it to kind of, I'll probably use it, but we're going to let it sit down here for a moment. Oh. All right, so home for the holidays. I'm not sure even which one I want to use it on. Gonna have to go. I think I'm gonna use it right there. Okay. Okay. There we go. And we're just gonna put the little 25 like right here. Okay. And that's going to be it for the tag till we get ready to to uh, get the top done. 
that's going to be and I'm not sure about the stitching and that looks like it's a little crooked but that's okay um, I'll probably put some kind of stitching in there I just don't know what so and it will be in the black color so there is that one for now till we get uh, decided what kind of topper we're going to put on it all right so let's get this now this one here doesn't need a whole lot of anything um, it just doesn't need a whole lot let's see I think I may use this uh, the little uh, sticker ones here on this one so let's see okay all right we're gonna put that 25 I think right there and then we'll put something right there and uh, let's see that just says Merry Christmas. I don't know if that's what I'd want there or not. It's almost too big. Um, I may just want Christmas. Let's see what it looks like if I just took the Christmas. There we go. I think that's what I want. All right, so let's get this off. All right, so I think that one's going to be good. I want to keep these simple. They're already busy enough, so they don't need to be overly busy. All right, for this one, let's see. I'm thinking maybe magical so let's uh and i may use that stories as well i'm not sure i want to get that star out of there okay so we'll get my there we go i want to cut that star off of there not very good left-handed. Left-handed is not my thing. My daughter's left-handed, but I definitely am not. Let's see, I think we'll go. A little crooked. Okay, magical. And then maybe I will add, I'm going to add a couple of little stars actually. Whoops, I don't want that there because I am going to have a. Oops, it's already there. It's already off. I was going to say I'm going to have a piece of trim there anyway, so there really would be no sense to put it there, but it's there now. So, one thing about Tim Holtz. His um, stuff does stick. Okay, so let's get this off my finger and I want to put another little star here somewhere. Oh, I think I can rub it off with these tweezers. All right, and I'm going to add a little star down here, here as well, somewhere there. Yeah, we're going to add that right there. Okay, so there will be that. That's kind of cute. Oh, but I haven't rubbed off my Magical yet. I was going to make sure that's where I wanted it, but it is where it needs to be. All right. Hopefully it'll just peel off. There we go. So there is our next little tag. Simple but cute. All right. So now we got one more tag to, to do here. I think I'll do the Season of Hope just because the other one is so far down. I'll have to cut a piece of that off anyway. So we'll just do this one. Mm. Okay. I want to save the little... 
star I'll use it so I think I want to put like this somewhere here not sure somewhere like that and then we'll add the little stars around it like that's pretty much on okay there's our season of hope and then we're going to add these little these are a little bit different kind of stars there so we'll add we'll add those okay so there's that one let's see I was trying to think if there was something else I maybe wanted to put there with season of hope and I may, I may actually add Merry Christmas, Season of Hope. Uh, this may be what I do. We're going to go ahead and get it kind of cut out there. Save my little star. Okay, so do we want to do... Well, I just don't know. I thought this might be kind of cute going that way. What if we did almost like a cross? Because for me, Jesus is the reason for the season anyway. What if we did... What if we just did Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add the word peace. Okay, and we're just going to make it like a, a little cross there. Okay, so we've got Merry Christmas, Season of Hope. And the Merry Christmas is a little hard to see because it's going through the, the uh, whatchamacallit there. But we're going to add a little star there. And let's see. Let's see if I can get another little star here. Okay. And we're going to add it uh, somewhere right there. All right. And that is going to be it for our last tag that we're going to decorate. So, awesome. So, what I need to do is I, I'm going to go and ink around the edges of all of these. And um, what I'm going to do is figure out, and I may even stitch around them, and then figure out what I'm going to do for the tops, whether I'm going to tie a, tie a piece of um, trim or just um, maybe sew a piece of trim on there just flat without the hole so anyway let me get that decided and I'll be right back okay so I do have these inked and stamped around uh, and uh, I mean uh, inked around and stitched and so what we're going to do is we're going to I think I'm going to add lace I went ahead and poked the holes um, I think I'm going to put just some vintage lace through there and not sew it on so um what I want to do is, let me find my long scissors. They're here somewhere. Yep. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is take and just cut some of this. These are just bits and pieces of lace that I have already, already used somewhere or cut pieces off of. So we're going to 
just cut, and I never really worry too much about how uh, evenly cut they are because it it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really show. I don't think on your on your uh, little ties there. Okay, so um, the darkest one I really want on my darkest tag. Uh, I think I'm going to put that on this one right here. And um, I can tie it or I can staple it. Either way. And I think I'll have to probably tie it. Because my uh, thing is not real wide on this one where I punched the hole. So let's just... Um, and this vintage lace tear is really easy. So, alright, so I'm just going to leave that like that. I might cut that down just a hair there. Okay, so there's that one. And then let's grab this one with the lighter lace. that one. Uh, I am thinking about uh, going ahead and stapling it because I just like it. It just lays nice and flat when you staple it. So here we go. We're going to try it. We're going to attempt it. All right. Oh. Okay, plan B here. All right, let's add a little glue here just to keep it from moving on me. I'm going to add just a little bit of glue just to keep it from moving so I can get that staple in there. Okay, now maybe we can get it in there without it moving so badly. All right, good, there it is, that'll work. So, then we can... All right, and it just lays flatter to me and looks nicer when, when uh, you staple it. All right, so there's that one. And we're going to... I think I'm going to cut this one edge off so that it's just raw on both edges. Okay, let's see here. And we're going to do the same thing with this. We'll end up just taking it and gluing it down a little bit to get it to hold for me. You just have to do something to keep it from moving around because it will shift and then be sideways when you go to staple it. And then you got to dig out the staple, of course, and redo it. Okay, so let's... Okay. And I made this one a lot shorter. But the other one I may make shorter too. So, all right, so there's that. And let's, uh, yeah, let's cut these just a little bit shorter. All right, there's our two. Okay. I like the darker, the darker lace.
Okay. So there's that one. And then I will go in and fix this one. Maybe I can get it pulled out of there now. Alright, there we go. So we're going to just kind of glue it down again. This time I'm just going to go up under there. So there we are, and there's our four tags, and I think they're pretty fun. Love, love, love them. All right, guys, so that's the tutorial. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. Hope it's something that you can follow. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.